Hey everybody, my name is Leila Kron and today uh, my video will be about the Medulla Oblongata. So, um, the first things first, let's start with the mnemonic. It's four bags are collected prior purchase. So the Medulla Oblongata is a very heavy topic, so you need four bags to be collected before you progress. All right, so let's start, write the letters down. B, A, C, P, P. So the four here stands for the four cranial layers that live, that terminate at the medulla oblongata. The B stands for brainstem and there's no further explanation for this. It's important because the brainstem is the midbrain, the pons, and then the medulla. So you need to know that the medulla is the last part to the brainstem. A is for autonomic. It's for the functions. Nomic. C is for the centers. P, both the P's are for the pathways or the tracks, so the first one would be the pyramidal and the second one would be the posterior column, medial, lemniscus, pathway. Right, now a quick change in pen. My favorite part of the video um let's move on so we've got the four cranial nerves which is number nine ten eleven and twelve just in case you didn't know there are twelve cranial nerves and one and two are other than one and two i'd say from three to twelve they are in the brainstem so three and four ocular motor and trochlea are in the midbrain then the other eight are divided equally amongst the pons and the medulla so the first four in order by the way so five six seven and eight are in the pons trigeminal abducens facial and vestibular cochlea then nine ten eleven twelve are in the medulla oblongata which would be the glossopharyngeal the vagus the accessory and the hypoglossal nerve Okay, so you need to know the nuclei of these uh, cranial nerves because that means that they terminate in the nuclei and the nuclei are in the medulla oblongata. So it's a part of the medulla, so you, that's what you need to know. But generally you need to know um, three such nuclei that is common for them. So you've got the nucleus, ambiguous. That is for cranial nerves 9, 10, and 11. Okay, so 9, 10, and 11. Then you've got the sol uh, solitary tract, sorry, solitary tract nucleus, which is for 7, 9, and 10. 7 is for facial nerve. Uh, but it's not in the medulla oblongata and then you've got the spinal trigeminal nucleus which is for 9, 10 and 11 okay all right nine individually so number 12 has just got its own name the hypoglossal nucleus which is motor number 11 has got the spinal trigeminal nucleus, right? And number 10, um, and the nucleus ambiguous, sorry. Number 10 has got the nucleus ambiguous, the solitary tract nucleus, the spinal trigeminal nucleus, and another one, which is the dorsal nucleus of the vagus nerve. I'll try all of 10. And number nine, which is the glossopharyngeal, it's got the nucleus ambiguous, it's got the solitary tract nucleus, it's got the 
spinal trigeminal nucleus and another one which is the it's parasympathetic is the inferior salivatory nucleus okay that's it brainstem i told you no need of explanation autonomic is the function so it's involuntary functions what, what can you think of when you think of involuntary so you've got coughing you've got sneezing vomiting breathing and etc The centers, the medulla has four centers. You've got the cardiac center, the respiratory center, vomiting, and vasomotor centers. That's why they regulate the breathing, then there's blood pressure, then there's heart rate, etc. Okay. Now the two P's are the tracts, so the pyramidal tract is a part of the pyramidal system and it has two important tracts, it's called the corticospinal and corticobulbar tracts. Okay, the posterior columnar lemniscus pathway has two tracts as well, it's got the fasciculus gracilis and cuneatus all right so that was the general view but what's important about the medulla is its anatomy so the structure of the medulla there are two there is an anterior view which is ventral and a posterior one which is dorsal uh, take a pen and start drawing with me and make it easier so let's start that would be our pons. Then we go like this. I'm not the best um, artist. Okay. Right. Oh uh, yes, fibers. These are fibers. Okay. All right. So that's the anterior view. Here we've got the pons. This one's one, two, are the olives. They are caused by the inferior olivary nuclei. Then this one is the anterior median fissure that has fibers coming out of it and these fibers are called the anterior external arcuate fibers okay now these two are the pyramids and they house the pyramidal tracts which is the cortical bulbar and the cortical spinal tracts and the cortical spinal ones especially they cross sides so the decussate and the medulla so that it's called the decussation of pyramid the decussation of the pyramid and that is the anterior view moving on to the posterior view draw with me again So these two are the inferior cerebellar peduncles. They're important because they connect the medulla to the cerebellum. Then you've got two triangles here. You've got the hypoglossal triangle and the vagal triangle. And this area here is the area prosema, or postrema, sorry, that deals with the vomiting function is for nausea and vomiting 
this middle line here, if this was the ante uh, anterior median fissure, this would be the posterior one, posterior median fissure or sulcus. The fibers running here are called the internal internal arcuate fibers and the decussate from one side of the medulla to the other to form the medial lemniscus so they form which is important the medial lemniscus all right that's why it's called the posterior call a medial lemniscus pathway then we've got you remember the tracks, the fasciculus, gracilis, and cuneatus? These are the ones, so this one's the gracilis, and this outer one is the cuneatus fasciculus. And these tracks, they end in tubercles. So if they start here, they end here. If they end here, so this one would be the cuneate tubercle. And this one here would be the gracil tubercle. Right? And that is it about the picture of the medulla. So you can see the pons above and the spinal cord starts from below the medulla. You can see the olives, the pyramid, the anterior median fissure. The decussation of the pyramid is very important. Um, and yeah, that's how it looks. I hope you like this video. If you do, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want me to do any other video, you can comment below or email me. I feel like I say this in every video and I need to stop. So thank you. Take care. Bye.